Hello, thank you for being part of this video. Right now, I'm going to be talking about how to exit your comfort zone. How to specifically exit your comfort zone. So without further ado, let's quickly get started. I'm creating this video to help you guys to understand what comfort zone is and how you can quickly get out of the comfort zone because life is about moving from one step to another moving from one part of life to the next level so if you are comfortably in a particular zone and you discover that you have been on that zone for a very long time it means it is high time you leave the zone and move to the next zone because life is a journey so you are not supposed to be stuck in a particular zone for a very long time and because because if you look into life very well you discover that life is moving life is not static so there is no reason why you should be static it means you need more improvement it means you need more development it could be self-development it could be development on improving your god-given talent it might be development in executing the necessary task that will help you grow up in life and uh, help you change your environment, improve your income, maybe from four figure, five figure to seven figure or if possible eight figures and so on and before you know you are on top of your game. So you are not expected to be stuck with life because life is beautiful, life is good but if you don't know how to Go about your journey, package your um, as in package your level, and uh, see how you can manage what you are doing right now. You may be stuck for a very long time because your comfort zone might be a particular environment where you live. So if the environment is not that good, it means you need a new environment. So um, for the for as long as you continue to be stuck in that particular environment that you are not happy with or you are not comfortable with or it's not really the taste that you actually want in your life it means that environment is still your comfort zone and also if it is an income you want to upgrade your income you want to increase your income you want to make more money so and you discover that maybe you are making two thousand dollar three thousand four thousand five thousand dollar in the month and you are stuck there for a very long time definitely that particular income or job is also your comfort zone and because you need something good you need something more better than that so that is why you it's, it is very easy to to identify your comfort zone so any situation you find yourself or anything that you are doing or anything that you, you, you are actually experiencing right now and you discover that this is not actually what you want you are just trying to manage what you have but you need more, more, more better things that will help you enjoy life. So definitely, that your current situation is your comfort zone. Definitely, it could be relationship, it could be marriage, it could be anything. Maybe the marriage is not going as you want it, or maybe you are experiencing a lot of uh, problem, misunderstanding, or. It could be a, a, a different kind of things in marriage that you are not happy about. So definitely, and you need to move forward. You need to move forward in life. And you want to experience something better. So, and that is why I'm saying that uh, the most painful regret in life is for one to see opportunities and, and for greatness and deliberately decide to let the wind blow it away. So... The reason why you need to leave your comfort zone is that uh, there are a lot of better opportunities out there. There are a lot of more enjoyments. There are a lot of more things that you can achieve far, far better than what you have right now. So, and uh, the moment you start, you are comfortable with, uh, with what you have or where you are. So, it means you are already uh, allowing a, a lot of bright opportunities out there to blow away in fact you may be people may be 
introducing a lot of beautiful opportunities to you and uh, you just try not to give it a you, you decided not to give it a try and before you know you keep on where you are last year last two years last three years you are still on the same level so there is no improvement there is no any advancement and before you know you keep on complaining and uh, you see other people moving forward and you are not so you are not so and this is worse than even committing suicide because in everything we do on a daily basis if there is a quest for an intentional growth you must have to be rugged because you want to grow you want to expand your business you want to improve your income you want to enjoy your life you want to have access to a lot of good things of life you want to enjoy a, a healthy life you want to live without any terms and conditions so you want to enjoy life definitely you need to to work more on how to improve your your personal development you need to develop yourself you need to try to explore your potential you need to see how you can move forward in life so that is why i said you just have to embrace the brightest opportunities that can give you greatness that can move you to the next level that can take you from where you are to where you are going because i know that like you have a lot of desire you have a lot of uh, a lot of uh, powerful intention to grow up in life to enjoy better things that the life uh, really promises and uh, you don't want to be where you are last year you don't want to be where you are last year and uh, uh, where you are last two years last five years you don't want to be at the same level at the same situation at the same environment no because you desire more when you desire more definitely you are going to enjoy better things of life because if you close up your desire definitely nothing happens because you'll be comfortable you are okay with whatever that is happening to you and you may be thinking that is how it's supposed to be whereas no it is not supposed to be like that and the first thing i would like you to understand is that you must be ready to quit that comfort zone yes it could be job it could be your income it could be the environment that you have been there for so many years and you are not specifically happy you are not completely happy about the situation you desire something more better than that but because you don't know how to go about it and you keep on uh, managing the situation you keep on accepting it and without thinking of how can you get out of this so you just have to make up your mind and you should be ready to quit that comfort zone once you do that so the question of it is not possible will not be there again so you it is it's going to open up your brain to think further to think of how can you exit your comfort zone and uh, the first the first secret i will give you to exit your comfort zone today is expunge complacency you need to expunge i'm giving you the first secret expunge complacency yeah yeah what do i mean by this expunge complacency is going to be very i'm going to be very 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 straightforward with this point you know you need to you need to understand the concept once you need you understand the concept you will know that it's a very big secret that you need to adopt in your life to exit your comfort zone so that you can be able to move to the next journey section of your life so because life is a journey so at the moment you are stuck it means the journey you, you could not be able to continue the journey so which means you are not expected to be static you are not expected to be experiencing the same environment the same income the same life and so on and so on so you need to move life is about movement it's about improvement it's about growth so now let me quickly explain what expunge complacency simply means 
So as a matter of fact, um, I want you to understand the fact that a sponge complacency is something that will really change how you think about life because never be too sure of where you are now because revolution is no respecter of knowledge, race or creed, divine your territory. So you are not expected to be completely sure of your present situation. You are not expected to be completely comfortable, to be completely sure, to be completely okay and to never dream of the next level. To never dream of next section of the journey. So because life is changing on a daily basis. It's changing on a daily basis and uh, the revolution is no respecter of knowledge. Because you can see you have moved from analog to digital and on a daily basis a lot of new inventions is coming up. So you need to divine your territory. You need to have that burning desire of where you are going and how to get there. If it is income, how can you start making from 5k to 20k? You need to dream big. You need to dream big and you need to divine your ter territory. You need to know where you want to live, the kind of car you want to ride in life, the kind of environment, the kind of freedom, the time freedom, the financial freedom. A lot. There are a lot of things life promises to give you but if you don't have the desire for those things definitely that's not how you can get it so you need to divine your territory you just have to be ahead of your game and you are not expected to be completely sure of where you are because you are not supposed to be where you are right now for a very long time you need to move forward you need to move forward and you need to dream big you need to go out there to get the bigger things, and you 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 are expected to make it happen. So you are expected to make it happen. And the next secret I'm going to give you today is is to do what is to create action. So you need to create action. Yes, you need to create action. You, know, you should never be caught seated on the fence. You are not expected to sit on the fence. You are not expected to. Say, so, okay, that's how it's supposed to be. No, 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 no. It is not supposed to be like that. You need to make it happen. If you aspire to become a leader, you need to work towards what will take you to where you are going. It means you need to see how you can relate with people, how you can start helping people, you can start advising people and before you know you begin to get followers a lot of people will subscribe to what you are doing if you want to start a business you, you need to divine what you intend to do and from there you you move to the right frame of mind the right frame of mind of um, you, you you need to create the task you need to execute the task before you can get the results so that is why you are expected to create action because it is action that will lead you to get results if you don't take action nothing happens nothing happens so it is important that you create a specific action that will help you to move from where you are to where you actually dreamed to be and I'm giving you the third secret. The third secret I'm going to be giving you is to set rules of engagement. I call it set rules of engagement. Wow, this particular secret on how to exit your comfort zone is very, very powerful. It's very powerful in the sense that it's going to let you know the kind of things that you need to do it's, it's going to help you work on your domain and uh, you shouldn't let situation dictate to you what you must do rather create the rules 
for station on how it should operate in your zone or domain. So don't let life dictate to you what to do. You shouldn't accept everything that life offers to you because what life offers to you might not be the best. It is you that know what is best for you. And it is by desiring to have more, to make more, to achieve more, to grow higher, that you'll be able to know this is below my expectation. If life is offering you something that is too low, something that is below your expectation, you will quickly understand and know and identify. So that's why I say create the rules for situation on how you should operate in your zone or domain. So you should be in control of your life. You should be in control of your income. You should be in control of your relationship. You should be in control of your environment. So that is why you are not expected to settle for less. Don't settle for less. Because there are unlimited opportunities out there that can help you to live your life to the fullest. But the moment you, sh you, you settle for less, you don't have any rules of engagement, so definitely nothing happens and you will be stuck. You discover that you are not moving and when you are not moving, you are in a particular situation for a very long time, definitely you are in your comfort zone and nothing better grows in the comfort zone. Because life is a journey, you have to move. So the next secret I'm going to give you is what? Is to make new friends. I call it make new friends. I don't want you to forget all these points. Point number one is to expunge complacency. The point number two is to create action. Why the point number three is to, is to set rules of engagement. And I'm now on the fourth rule the fourth, let me call it the fourth secret. The fourth secret is to make new friends. There is this particular saying that if you are in a room with five poor people, definitely you are going to be the sixth poor person. But if you are in a room with five millionaires, if you follow their steps, you are ready to learn from them, definitely you are going to be the sixth millionaire. So you need to learn ideas, concepts, ways of doing things, etc. by associating and making new friends with like minds. You are saying that you want to move forward in life, you want to become a millionaire and you always find yourself in the midst of the poor people. Definitely, there is nothing you can learn because if you want to become rich, you want to be financially independent, definitely, you need to first of all forget about poverty and anything that has to do with poverty. You should not be in relationship with poverty. You should not read anything that has to do with poverty. You should not listen to the news that talk about poverty because whatever you listen to, whatever you see, definitely work on your, on your uh, subconscious mind. And it will really affect your thinking, your action, and the way you reason. So that is why you need to, first of all, engage with people of like minds. If you want to move forward in life, you need to associate with yourself, with the kind of friends that are already in the next level you are going to. Something that you wanted to achieve in life. You need to associate yourself with those people who have already achieved it. Learn their actions, learn their strategies, learn their techniques. By doing that, you could be able to achieve the same result they have been able to achieve. But if you are always associating, befriending people that are very, that are not in relationship with what you want, definitely, you are. It's like you are approaching the system in an opposite way and it will not give you any results because quitting your old environment for new one requires you having the spirit of tolerance and strong adaptation attitude you need to take it along with you you need to adapt 
to new set of people, to new environment, to new way of doing things, to new method of learning, new method of association. You need to inculcate the habit of self-discipline and you need to take action. You need to take action. You need to associate yourself with new set of friends. And before you know, you are going to achieve the success that you actually desire in life. If you are just watching this channel for the first time, I will advise you to click on subscribe button, hit the uh, bell notification, and anytime I produce a powerful video tutorial like this, you'll be able to be updated. Thank you for being there. See you some other time. Thanks.